Hello, my name is Joseph Murray, and I'm doing a tutorial in AutoCAD MEP 2014. In this tutorial, I will be showing you or demonstrating how you can add panels and circuits for your electrical systems. To start, I'm going to make sure that this tab is in electrical, and I'm going to make sure that my tool palette is also in electrical. I'm going to also, lastly, before I get anything started, make sure that my ortho, ortho, object snap, and dynamic input are all highlighted. And just to make sure, I'm going to go into object snap, right click on that, click on settings, and I'm going to make sure that node and nearest are also clicked. I don't need anything else to be clicked for just tutorial. Click OK, and let's get started. I'm going to go to the tool palette, just highlight it and click on surface 142 slots I'm then going to go down to my properties because I need to set up my parameters for this system or say location or say the line 2 I'm going to click on yes for my elevation I'm going to make sure that my elevation is at 1000 for advanced under system I'm going to make sure that that says 230 lighting 230 volt lighting I'm then going to go down to my circuit and make sure that click on circuit settings I'm going to click on system type power and lighting and the system is going to be 230 volt lighting for the total number of slops I'm gonna make sure that says 42 for the number of two pole circuits that's gonna stay zero and for the number of one pole circuits that's gonna say two for the voltage I'm gonna make sure that it says 230 after that I'm going to click on OK. I'm going to go back to my properties, scroll down a little bit, go to name, and for this I'm going to type in HP01. For the rating I'm going to leave that at 100. For the voltage to neutral I'm going to leave that at 230. And for the voltage phase to phase I'm going to leave that at 240. For the phases, I'm going to make sure that says 1. And for the panel type, I'm going to make sure down here, I'm going to make sure that says ISO. Now in the drawing, I'm just going to, as you can see, I have something attached to my drawing. We're going to go over here to the 112 electrical area. And since I set my snaps on, all I have to do is highlight this area right here and it's going to automatically snap so I just click on that and it's going to ask me this is going to pop up automatically click on create a new EPD file and for this EPD file we're going to name it sample click save and then we can press enter now we have to configure the circuits I'm going to go, ahead and go over here on our tool palette and click on our we're going to click on our item right here and uh, top ribbon is going to change we're going to click on circuit manager in the circuit manager we have to change a few parameters right here our drawing is called HP which is our current drawing we're gonna click on the power lighting and we're gonna click on the first number one double click on that and we're gonna change that description to 01 floor conference 
fluorescent. Double click on that, excuse me. Zero one, floor, compact, fluorescent. Press enter. We're going to now click on the number two. Double click on spare. I didn't double click on it earlier, excuse me for that. Double click on spare. This is going to be named zero one, floor. This is going to be changed to lobby fluorescent. Press enter. And the last one, we're going to click on the third circuit, number three circuit. Double click on that. Double click on the space description. We're going to change that to zero one floor cold fluorescent. Press enter. We're going to then close our circuit manager. And that's it. That's how you set up your electrical panel and circuits so you can wire your electricity in your building. Hope you learned something. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you for the next tutorial.